Um, because Lord. I love you, and because where you are with Jesus is far more important to me than what you know about him, you will have a different sort of final invite. It will be graded differently as well. Before you leave the spiritual cocoon of Cornerstone, I want you to seriously example, examine what you will do to flourish spiritually after you graduate. Uh, so here are your instructions. After viewing the videos Dealing with Doubts by Brett Kunkel, we're going to start that one today. And then another one called Dealing with Doubt by Tim Weedy. You may remember him. He's my pastor. Davis. Um, and uh, so we will, we will watch uh, both of those. Uh, and you will use your notes to write two, a two-paragraph free write on one of the following topics. So here's topic one. If one of the types of doubt, and this is in Kunkel's uh, video, intellectual, emotional, psychological, moral, experiential, or re relational resonated with you, I want you to write about that. I want you to write about your doubt. In the first paragraph, I want you to process your doubt, explain and describe the doubt. If you know what is causing you to doubt, write about that as well. Include your feelings and the impact that doubt has had on your relationship with God. In the second paragraph, I want you to write out a detailed plan to address your doubt. How are you going to attempt to resolve the doubt? End your free write with a prayer. You may draw from both videos, but you don't have to. This is not where I'm going to make sure that you use both. It's important to me that you be gut level honest. This is mostly between you and God. I will explain that further in the writing section. Or, uh, so that's one choice. Or, uh, if you would say that you are not currently dealing with doubt, you will write about something different. Understanding that doubt is a universal experience and that you are leaving CCS, a place where it is relatively easy to grow spiritually or at least fake it. I want you to write a detailed explanation for how you plan to grow spiritually after you leave high school. What specific steps will you take to grow in your faith? Who will you ask to pray for you? For what will you ask them to pray? That plan will be your first paragraph. In your second paragraph, I want you to explain what you will do if, despite your plan, you begin to struggle in your faith. Who will you turn to for help? End your free write with a, with a prayer. So this is how I'm going to read this. Um, if you complete the assignment thoughtfully and thoroughly, as stated above, you will receive an A minus, a 95% uh, on it. Unless you ask me to, I will not be reading what you have written. I will simply glance at it to ensure that you have done what I have asked you to do. I have asked you to be honest, and I do not want to hinder your honesty in any way. And I believe that you some of my students, that if I read it, would, if they knew I was reading it, they would, we wouldn't be. However, there is one more thing I want you to do. I would like for you to give what you have written to a mature believer whom you trust, who you don't mind. It could be a teacher, a parent, or a member of your church. As Ask that person to read it and ask if he or she is willing to commit, if he or she is willing to commit to disciple you through your time of doubt or to hold you accountable to your plan to grow in your faith. Finally, ask that person to email me, and there's my email address, and simply tell me that he, she read what you have written. If you complete that part of the assignments, you will be guaranteed 100% for your final test. This says it's due May 13th. I won't be here May 13th and the, during the day. I will be at the graduation. I will be here for... Um, for awards night that night, so you can show it to me that night. Um, if, um, but you need to show it to me at some point before the 26th, uh, and any time before the 26th is fine. I know you look like when you come back to your graduation practice, you could show it to me then. If you get it done earlier, that's fine. Um, so uh, we're going to watch this first video. Um, and uh, I have some um, I have some questions for you. Um,